the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 259, Ezekiel 47-48 The water flowing from the temple. The sins where compartments of new heaven and new earth were decided by God showed that Israel would be newly resuscitated. First point, the flowing water from the temple which Ezekiel saw during God's vision becomes the backdrop to the water in Revelation which flowed in the new heavens and new earth. God showed Ezekiel a vision of water flowing out of the new Jerusalem temple. The water shown came out from under the threshold of the temple, toward the east, for the temple faced east. The water also came down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. Swarms of living creatures lived wherever the river flowed with large amounts of fish. However, the swamps and marshes were not fresh, but they were left for salt. This meant that this land no longer had use, and this was referring to the words spoken by God through the prophet Zephaniah. God continued to speak of the abundance the river would bring. This description provided the base for the descriptions of the new heavens and the new earth recorded in Revelation. Second point, the laws God gave to Moses and Ezekiel regarding land distribution was always according to regulation and always fair. To Ezekiel, God explained about how the land would be distributed to the people once the 70 years in Babylon was over and they would be able to return. The regulations regarding land distribution was very fair and according to the borderlines of the decided territories. As God had promised Abraham, the people of Israel were to inherit and live in this land. This was also God fulfilling his promise with Moses. God continued to provide the logistics for the land for the people of South Judah when they returned from Babylon captivity. God also remembered the foreigners who lived with the people of South Judah. God once again revealed how he was the God for all nations. Third point, the method of casting lot was used by Joshua and the method used during the time of Ezekiel was God's guidance and the casting lot. The land distribution in Ezekiel chapter 48 regarding the promised land has its foundation in Joshua's land distribution, which was according to the casting lot method and also according to God's will. The people of Israel would get their land as they did back when they were first given land as the twelve tribes of Israel. All the tribes had equal right, but this time round, the focus was to be around the Jerusalem temple. The first step was for the land north of the temple to be distributed between seven tribes. All the tribes would be given their land from the west to the Jordan. With the Holy Land at the center, seven tribes were to be given land north to the temple and then the remaining five to be given land south to the temple. The tribes to live in the north were to be Dan, Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh, Ephraim, Reuben, and Judah. The tribe of Judah in particular was to be given the land closest to the Holy Land. Fourth point, during the days of Joshua, the land distributed was between the east and west of the Jordan. And during the days of Ezekiel, the land distributed was between the north and south as seen from the western side of the Jordan. 
God explained to Ezekiel how Israel would be restored and the responsibilities and tasks for each tribe. This time round, the land would be distributed centering the Jordan River to the south and north sides, which was different to the days of Joshua, the west and east sides of the Jordan. Although the people of South Judah were still living as captives in Babylon, in time the Jerusalem temple would be restored and so would their society. God's vision would once again come to life. This time the people were to obey God. South to the temple, the land was to be distributed to the tribes of Benjamin, Simeon, Issachar, Zebulon, and Gad. Closest to the Holy Land would be the tribe of Judah in the north and the tribe of Benjamin in the south. God continued to explain the details regarding the Jerusalem gates. Twelve gates were detailed and each would have the names of each tribe on them. And the name of the city was to be called Jehovah Shammah, meaning the Lord is there. God would dwell among them forever. Fifth point, Ezekiel concluded his book with the words, The Lord is there. The Bible records numerous references to God. The first is the Lord will provide. The second is the Lord will heal. The third is the Lord is my banner. The fourth is the Lord is peace. The fifth is the Lord is our righteousness. The sixth is the Lord is there. In the concluding parts of Ezekiel, God declares that he will be there. Back when Babylon besieged Jerusalem, God proclaimed that he had left them, but now God was to return to them. God showed Ezekiel how he was to restore them and commanded Ezekiel to persuade them. The Lord is there also symbolized how Babylon captivity was not the end for them. God's love is never ending, and that is why we can hope today. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.